All right. Uh, hello, it's Astrogan again, and I'm back. It's Genshin. I'm still behind a bit on the story, so don't get straight to it. Hmm. Testing. Testing. Sorry, thought there was something wrong with my. We're way behind schedule. Healthy. Mic. And mute because I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> You're all here so early. Looks like we have everyone here. Isak, are you sure you want to come with us? I'll watch from a safe distance. Dia, I want to be there to bring Grandpa home. Okay, let's go then. Dia, wait. What's the matter? I heard that you were quite reckless yesterday. No more of that today, understood? Or I'll be very upset with you. Fine. Well, I was shorter than I thought it'd be. Ooh, far away. Uh, all the way over here. I'm so glad I got all the teleport points. Well, most of them. Couldn't get, like... Trying to not use light. Didn't get all of them because the teleport points for a few of the domains I were not was not able to unlock. Oops, I'm paying attention. <laughs> One for two soldier, three beasts. I vaguely remember them being an uh, achievement to not to get like a beast to go all the way wherever it's heading. But yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. We're way behind schedule. Almost there. <laughs> Sand patterns. Only one old person? Hmm. Huh. They got here before us. Uh-oh. Is it because Paimon overslept by five minutes and held everyone up? Is everything ready? Absolutely. Although, you brought fewer people than I imagined. Bring him over. Grandpa! Why is there only one of them? Raman, I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's this about? It's a one-for-one -one exchange. Sounds fair, don't you think? And let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Don't you think you've... Asked enough? Uh-uh. <sighs> you stay right there! Shaking. Wait a second. It's a earthquake. Go, <laughs> Nahida.
Ugh, this day's going just great. <laughs> what a nuisance. The sand dune collapsed. I saw an energy field. The village keeper protected us. It glowed green with Tentro. <laughs> just like you said, it may well have been the remains of Lesser Lord Kusanali's power inside the scholar's body. The Dendro Archon. The present one. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no. He's getting confused again. Hey, look around you. Did there used to be a temple here? It seems that when the sand dune collapsed, it exposed these underground structures. The symbols on the gate belong to King Deshred's civilization. This structure must be ancient. No, oh, it could have been an underground palace in the distant past. Oh, a miracle. Praise King Deshret! What's he doing here? And his men too? They must have fallen down here with us. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Uh, uh. Most of them seem in really bad shape. Except for him. He got off lightly. <laughs> Mind your head. No, no, this isn't the time for conflict. Our exalted lord has shown us the way to his sacred palace. Uh, he's not actually gonna go in there, is he? As it happens, I want to take a look inside, too. What are you doing? Don't you think it's curious? One minute, Lesser Lord Kusanali's power protects us from harm, and the next, remnants of King Deshret's civilization appear. Two major deities are vying to showcase their power to us. It would be a shame not to witness them both. Paimon thought you weren't interested in gods. Indeed. In my view, gods are just a higher form of living being. Or creature, you could say. New discoveries are always worth investigating. Whether they have anything to do with gods is neither here nor there. Raman, what are you gonna do about your men? I'll just let them lay here. King Deshret will take care of his people. Right now, I'm going inside. Well, this seems interesting. I have no forewarning of knowledge to what is going to happen. I tried to keep the spoilers to a minimum. Higher. Um, hopefully I don't have to use those elements, because yeah, I just want to use... Like, uh, just in case, I guess it's best to... Pyro and Electro. Behold, the Princess and Devotalon. In case there's any monuments I have to light. Cutscene? Seems too little for just loading into it. It's full of life here. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Yet, it flows with energy inside. And there's so many plants. It's so pretty! Sir Raman. W huh? Me? <laughs> do you see another Raman here? Are you mocking me? What do you mean, sir? Interpret it however you want. But there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. While this structure is clearly left over from King Deshret's civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. <laughs> Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. It does seem kind of strange. 
If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Well, we won't say something, but those are the mm -hmm. Steels, are they called? Look up at the hall as a motionless new king that shreds all guidance. I see nothing that way. I just did them at random. <laughs> I have no idea if I did it was supposed to be right. To progress. Hmm. Ooh, pretty flowers. Ha 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 ha! You can't get back here. Well, it might be all the way back here. But that one can fly. Easy, I'm moving back to the place. Guess I'm going to close them. Much, you can see some. Ooh, opening door. Dang it. Have seen that coming? How long they've been there, unless they're like some type of safe or so. Apple should be all like Forgot that it was Utah and not uh, his own. Nope. Alright, press the button. There's a chest. Glad I look around. Glad I looked around. We're way behind okay. schedule. Big elevator? Nope. I don't see any other buttons. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad there's no squish damage. <laughs> But like, I just can't deal with the mushrooms. Ten texture? Yeah, texture. Oh, coming to investigate. Mysterious message. After six days infiltrating the temple, I finally understand the priest's parlor tricks.
Okay, so got get on top after it goes down. Wing group the head, mouth cannot pass. Good wink. Leave nothing here and hope the people of King Deshret who shall travel here in the future shall really enjoy the privilege privilege of winning sacred presence. Okay, so The other elevator? No, I saw no hole in the roof of that one. Are these light walls climbable? Nope. Am I missing something blatantly obvious? Into the ground. Get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. Oh. That was actually a button. Poop. It's supposed to activate it again right away. My faux pas. Fancier barrier. Of course, it's better to be on the way here. By royal decree, take your true form. No touching. Ah! I'm a little low on energy. Don't have my shield. Okay, so it was just the. It wasn't for. Um, what's called? Any. Stage. Literally just for Oh, 
脇All the way down. Okay, we're gonna further down. Now that's a sight to see. King Desret's splendor surrounds us. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. There are a lot of plants for a desert. <laughs> that's what I call divine providence of King Desret. That's a cool effect, but it's annoying. Oh, we're going... Nope, good change. Nope, cut you off. Nope, cut you off. Ooh. And obligatory main character. Oh. Can't run, can't access menu, can't access, access uh, elemental play. Looks like it's using the elemental. And uh, Jack. Cutscene time. Wait. What's that? They left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest Kasala. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient King Deshret script? Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. He's not serious, right? There's still something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Hmm. Is this it? Analyzing. Hmm. There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device from King Deshret's civilization in this gravesite. I'll transmit the information over and project it for everyone to see. Isn't sharing knowledge against the Academia's rules? Yes. However, under the circumstances, I prefer you to see this for yourself. You'll understand after watching it. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers, Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. 
As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. What was that? The priest's memories. No. No, impossible. Greater Lord Rukadevata. So the former Dendro Archon and King Deshret were never enemies at all. Uh, but this doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers, they're clearly... Was that the former Dendro Archon? He became so tiny in the end. You might be distrustful of the Akasha, but there's no reason for you to doubt King Deshred's technology. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. I've never heard about any of this before. The surviving followers of King Deshret all gathered in Aru village. Our god did not make mistakes. We refuse to believe any of the rumors. King Deshret's death, the all but total annihilation of our civilization, it was all Greater Lord Ruka Devata's doing. We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. <laughs> Just like us humans. Fighting. Feuding. Double-crossing each other to survive in the desert. You were blinded by your prejudice. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself... If I hadn't witnessed his last words with my own eyes, ears, and heart, how could I ever begin to accept this? The truth is so far from what I've always known. Am I really supposed to believe that after all these years, all this time seeking revenge, suddenly now my enemy is my savior? Raman, that's enough. Give it a rest. You're starting to make a fool of yourself. Dia, tell me. My Aramites and I, what are we even fighting for? Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'll live. <laughs> Thanks. I should probably go. Can't just stay here forever. What's your next move gonna be? Oh, I know what you're going to ask. I feel deeply ashamed of everything I've done. You'll get everything you're asking for, but please uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today, somehow I need to explain it to the others. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. Dia, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. And I'll return every last one of your mad, uh, sorry, your village keepers. We'll share our other resources with you, too. You seem to finally understand that our true enemy is the Sages. Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. 
It's the people responsible for all this that need to face the consequences of their actions. That must have been rough. But he seems to have figured things out now. <sighs> Rahman's no fool. Being the leader of your own faction in the desert is no easy feat. It's too bad he was held back by his belief in King Deshred. But now that that's changed, I guess we have a few more people on our side. The outcome, at least, is favorable. We should get going, too. Let's head back, have a proper meal, and a nice... long sleep. We'll need all our energy tomorrow. Hmm... Stop yelling. So, if I'm take what we just saw correctly, that Nahida is both Greater Lord and Lesser Lord? Didn't see that coming. And... King Deshred accidentally brought in an Eldritch type knowledge. Also, and that's the source of the. I forget the name of the disease. But yeah, huh. Didn't see that coming. But things are never going to go exactly how we planned, so. I'm guessing we're going to have to be fighting. <laughs> Oh, don't even need to wait for tomorrow. In other news... Made supper tonight. It was good. <laughs> I have no idea where I was going with that. How did I not notice this early? Or did I? I just forgot. Oh, touching. Well, technically? Raman, we're here. Everything's been arranged. Someone will bring the village keepers back to Aru village shortly. I guess all I can say now is thanks for agreeing to help. Ah, don't mention it. I think we can both agree you went to hell and back for it. But we share a common cause now. From here on out, we're allies. Where are the perpetrators? I'll bring you to them. Follow me. So these are the people who kidnapped the village keepers. Oh no, it's the scribe! There's no need to yell. No one can help you now. We've been all over the desert trying to find you! That's right. General Mahamatra? No, no. Make it quick, please. Swift and painless. Whoa. The moment they set eyes on Sino, they turn pale like they've seen a ghost! You should have known that I would be coming for you. Wait, we were just following orders! You know what I'm talking about, right? There's no way we could have done all this by ourselves! No, not Sino! He's gonna tear us limb from limb! I could do worse. Please have mercy! Start talking. Otherwise, I'll have to resort to... other... Methods. So, your superiors have kept you quite busy recently. Why? What are they trying to accomplish? Uh, they, um, wanted to extract canned knowledge. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm really asking. They extract divine canned knowledge. Then what? I, I, I don't really don't know how to explain it. Well, you better start talking or you'll be sorry! You don't want to make things any more difficult for yourself, do ya? Be my guest. Huh? Huh? 
Uh-huh. That sure didn't sound like a fancy metaphor or anything. You're serious, aren't you? How did you know? There's no use hiding it now. Yes, you're right. The Academia is working on an important and potentially world-changing project. They are creating a new god. A god that will belong to them and to the people of Sum- It may seem as if Sumeru's academics are thriving, but ever since the death of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, scholarly breakthroughs have been few and far between. The withering of Ermin's soul has been getting worse recently. The sages have tried everything they could think of, but nothing's worked. I'm always hearing them say things like, if only Greater Lord Ruka Devata was still with us. Continue. And then, someone from the Fatui showed up. They called him the Doctor. He brought a, a, a Gnosis and said he wanted to borrow the Academia's research facilities. The Doctor was previously expelled from the Academia. At first, the sages looked down at him in disdain. But when he said those words, everyone's expression changed. He asked them, do you wish to create a god? This is what the arrogant ignorance at the extreme end of Academia looks like. First, the Academia spent a long time constructing a divine vessel, which was based on an exquisite humanoid puppet. After that, they harvested dreams via the Seb Zerus Festival Samsara, maximizing the Akasha's output. With the Doctor's help, and the Akasha now functioning at maximum efficiency, they were able to use it to extract the power from the Gnosis and convert it into a divine core. Next, they decided that their new god needed to possess divine wisdom. For that to happen, they needed a huge quantity of divine canned knowledge. It adds up. But how do you determine whether the knowledge extracted is of divine origin? Call it an educated guess? The Academia has been trying to figure out the exact source of the Scholar's Madness for centuries, but to no avail. Nobody can explain the cause of this phenomenon. Uh, surely you can see what that implies, Scribe Al-Haytham. If it's knowledge no mortal can comprehend, then it must be something only gods are able to decipher. In other words, it's the source of the God of Wisdom's omniscience and omnipotence. Hmm. You must have noticed by now. The Academia doesn't care about who their god is. It's the ability to exercise control over knowledge and wisdom that matters. It is as if they are cursed with a desire for omniscience and omnipotence that burns in their blood. Some organisms demonstrate phototaxis, and thus orient their entire lives in respect to sources of light. For the sages, their only source of hope is the existence of a deity who embodies the acme of wisdom. This is but a form of phototaxis. For many scholars, the absence of a god of wisdom means stumbling in the darkness for the duration of their lives. Then what does Lesser Lord Kusanali mean to you? Is she not a true god present in this world? If you already have a new god, why try to create another one? From the beginning, the Academia has never treated her as a god. When the Academia first discovered Lesser Lord Kusanali, the newborn god of wisdom, the sages hoped that she would be as wise as Greater Lord Ruka Devata. But upon evaluation, they found that at the time, she possessed no more intelligence than any ordinary human child. The sages never had a ruder awakening. This forced them to accept that Greater Lord Ruka Devata had indeed passed away. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali's Gnosis had been used to power the Akasha this entire time. By herself, she has neither an Archon's raw power nor the spectacular insight expected of a god of wisdom. Slowly but surely, people began to forget about her existence. So... This is the path the sages have chosen. All right, let's try to keep our cool. If everyone's in a bad mood, then let's change up our scenery. Raman, give me a few men to help us escort the village keepers back to the village. And these two scholars, they're coming too. Sure, as you wish. And obviously to us, the viewers, the undecipherable knowledge is actually the cursed knowledge that De King Desheret got, so yeah, that's not gonna have a hope. <laughs> As 
so yeah, before I got into that cutscene, I was saying Pokemon soon. Yay! <laughs> The village keepers you found have all been returned to their homes, and each one has a dedicated caregiver to look after them. The two new scholars are being kept under close supervision, too. Uh, the atmosphere is so heavy. Hey, say something! Stop spacing out! Come on, is there nothing left to talk about? In that case, let's all get some water and try to think about something else. Or I can go fetch some snacks. Oh, Paimon's so coming with you! Do you have any plans, Traveler? Gods above, you're not talking about work, are you? Ooh, finally we get to drop the bombs. Hmm. So you were still withholding some information? In essence, one long conversation Even later... Even though we lived through all of this firsthand, it still feels super surreal to hear you talk about it again. What a whirlwind of a story. I felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. It seems like there will be more issues to face in the days ahead than I had anticipated. Hmm. Still, now's a good time to make our next move. Now that Raman's joined us, we'll be an even stronger team. It's time to make a plan. Indeed. These events are a flagrant transgression of the rules in every sense. We cannot allow it to continue. So, everyone, are we on the same page? Crush the sages and rescue our god. That is our ultimate goal. Well, let's brainstorm a little more about what other resources we can draw on. The next time we gather here, we must have a solid plan. Yep, it'll work out for sure. Okay, one more done. Find the ancient temple. Temple. Understand the past through the final words. And complete condition in three magi. Okay, this is the last one needed to get to that new quest. What do you do? <laughs> no, idea, no idea why I decided to say it like that. I want to test something. I've been waiting for you for. Ooh. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Far superior to mine. By the way, do you still remember? I see everything. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I was honestly expecting more. Grow, grow, grow. Happy? Hey. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh. You must let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Though I cannot leave Aubrey Village. I can't help but feel stirred when I see the looks in your eyes. I've never felt as roused as this when fighting alone in the past. I suppose this must be the power of camaraderie. Don't rush. This is a big undertaking, and the planning and preparation for what lies ahead will no doubt take some time. Take it slowly. We need to make sure the plan is as effective as possible. He's starting to read his book again! Hey! Are you even listening? 
Would you like me to lend you something to read? No way! Your books aren't quite to Paimon's taste. I was joking. I know my books are far too difficult for you, and I have no intention of lending them out. Ugh, you're so annoying! Your memory is far okay, superior that to mine. Either way. Just wait for the little Happy. In the past, I never imagined that even the gods could suffer from hardship. If we can find a way to change all of this, will this nation become a better place? The past few days have been some of the most challenging work I've ever taken on. And none of it will earn me a single mora. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look on the bright side, Dia. Maybe we'll get a huge reward after this is all over. Hmm, you've got a point. Hey, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow with more money than you could ever spend? Paimon would buy boatloads of tasty snacks. That's it? Um, and maybe some tasty drinks as well? <laughs> <laughs> How adorable. Well, here's to all our indulgent fantasies. If there's a chance they can come true, I'll give it my best shot. And here's hoping that everything we do from now on will change this world for the better. Well, those were their thoughts and non thoughts. Hmm, boop, 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 boop. boop. Oh, one more thing. At the end of this, before I sign out for the night, well, tonight where I am, at least, I'm going to do some more rolls and see if I can get Nahida to CO2. Constellation 2. I don't know why I said CO. Oh, one moment. Sneeze coming. Oof. Overlay loud and obnoxious, just as usual. <laughs> wait until the next day. Oh, gotta wait the whole... Almost 12 hours, 24 hours. Dang. Candace. I'm just going to quickly pick my party, do my preferred output. Output? Deployment. That would probably be a better word. Let's investigate this further. Try one. Nope, wrong one. Three feet on night. There we go. Candace, we're here. Has everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them. Please, wait a moment. Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Hmm, what do you think? Okay. Well, that's reboting. <laughs> so I wonder what Rasham that mean? said to his uh, followers, because you can be sure that went over well. Yeah, everything we believed in is a lie. So, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Ok, 
cutscene. Everyone's here so early! But why isn't anybody talking? We already discussed things a bit. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. Are you ready? Very well. One more Are you sure later. this is gonna work? I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me in. Hmm. It's worth a try. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. Hmm, this is taking a while. Usually they've been shorter than this. There's a noise. Hmm, this really is taking longer than usual. So where was I from earlier? Pokemon. Scarlet and Violet. Now here we are. Oh. You're finally done. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Well, Traveler, Paimon. Judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Jinxed it. To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. Oh, Candace gave us a compliment. Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. With everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Whistle noise. I'm just blurred. <laughs> hmm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hit them. Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. I hope this is clear to you. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, 
You don't look anything like a soldier. Of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. This guy... Huh. Paimon still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic! <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. That reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge, but the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. The withering. Elazar, and the sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? But Paimon thought that Ermin Soul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. At least, that's what Tainari told us. Wait a second. Could it be that? Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermin Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is. Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That. Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Erminsoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Well, some of that knowledge was easy to extrapolate. Other of it was redundant. I'm not sure if that's the correct, correct word. Correct. <laughs> oh, same base. Why do you say and? Just going to the one that we know of. Eh. Makes no difference at this point in time. Oop, wrong way. Ladder. <laughs> oh, you made it. Huh? What are they doing here? I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes! We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Huh? Uh, more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Hyman's a little scared, but very, very furious! <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with, Traveler, 
I want you to record something into this capsule. Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. I'm guessing he wants to upload some that video we saw or some knowledge we have about Nahida. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. And it may be proven wrong. <laughs> Paimon is still really worried. I understand. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. It's done. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh... a fool? A machine? A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebots and start preparing for the next- Small projects? We are going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. Well... That was foreboding. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like Chang the Knife Knife is this today's daily. Well, not that I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, okay, here we are. And there's Sino. Another cutscene. I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end, I still can't agree to it. But it's still the best plan we have. As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. Well, Hitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? 
He's turned against our plan. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment, so you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to Al Haytham for suggestions. Had I known Al Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. <sighs> Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon, this is also something you should know. Rahman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards, in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Wait! How can we work with the guards? We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Reebok would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something Al Haytham told you. Am I right? Doesn't Al Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me. There is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now oh, you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? <laughs> I knew you would say that. Hmm. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties, because we crave the spoils of victory. So please, lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendrowarkon and those of King Deshret. Okay, you have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. Whoops, hit the button a bit too quickly here. <laughs> The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. Hmm. Oh, so we're doing it right now? <laughs> guards! General Mahamatra! To... To what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. 
According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatrasino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. There are a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately. Because this is work. Because I trust- Paimon can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff! Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia and are no longer their General Mahamatra? G come on, Paimon, say it louder so everyone can hear. Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might, right? We discussed this, remember? The caravan rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry, the guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and roots were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm, that's true, but why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true, but the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic, but can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. Any one of us could potentially disagree with another. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. 
<laughs> Is that so? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate. And people will not be forever trapped by the past. Paimon's so glad that this is settled. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. <sighs> Will do. Just remember to stay vigilant. <gasps> Footsteps! General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Grand Deshret Desert District. My name is Luxembarbo. Hmm. This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. The construct next to him is for his work. <laughs> construct. Beep, construct. What a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And uh, is this the latest technology from the academia? Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. There's no need for flattery. <clears throat> yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> map. Hurry, bring the map! In two days, we will engage Rahman's Aramites and capture all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir. Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. And now, we're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Get ready. We will move out in two days. Why is it... Always two days later nowadays. Okay, so it doesn't give me an actual time, just two days later. So it could be any time, two days. I'll just go the whole thing. One day done. And two days done. Outside Valley Village. Hello to May 7 Ari. Hmm, I hope that wasn't too long ago. <laughs> I really gotta pay more attention. Oh, we need to heal. Dead end. And quest time. Wait a moment. Ah! Oh, it's you. You're my assistant, remember? Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. 
It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. We meet again. <laughs> You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is. Since this is a big case for the Academia, we are prepared to give it our best. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Understood. I'm good. I'm not going to be playing for too much long, but thank you for watching. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Make preparations and be ready for combat! Halt! Oh? What a warm welcome! What are you judging from those shiny weapons in your hands? It seems like you're not interested in a deal! Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? A Matra from the Academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Oh, nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. That was fairly good action. Actually. <laughs> Stabilize! <laughs> Transfiguration! No touching! This will be fairly easy. Access denied! I am getting tired, so. Maybe we should get more sleep. So we Next up, no touching! Outgoing. Oh, oh, nine now. Born of ice and frost! <laughs> I'm late. Take your true form. No touching. Generic. Yeah. Uh, and there we go. So just so you know, I uh, usually mute it's when over. cutting. I like to listen to the voices. <laughs> ah! We have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Ah! You pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will. Silence! Oh! Uh... <laughs> that. Oh, uh. <laughs> Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed by the General Mahamatra. Yes, sir! Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Understood. You are dismissed. There they go. Let's talk elsewhere. Yes, things went perfectly. That's never good. Well, usually it's never. No, usually it's good, but who can tell what's perfect? That's fantastic! And that punch you gave Ram on there sure looked convincing enough. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Yeah. You're the reason why everything went so well. <sighs> it's not the time to celebrate yet. Hmm. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. If we need help, Tainari is the best option. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting. 
Ooh. Need to be on night. Done. So. Just gonna check the battle pass. Over there. And check this other pass. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. I missed it. Nope. Check this. That way. Complete has a by God's side quest to unlock. Dang it! Don't have to get even further. Oof, well. It's getting late, and I have definitely not been getting enough sleep lately. So, just going to go to the Statue of the Seven, and I'm going to try a few rolls for Nahida's um, Contemplation. Or maybe C2. And then I'll be up for tonight. Okay, let's do this. Oh, purple. Skip. Razor. Number two. Another purple. Just a spear. Too bad. Number three. First one. Number four, I think. Ooh, gold. Here. Bow. Now he did number two. Yes. Razor again. And just a more weapon. Okay, number five. Number six. Just a book. Hmm. I think I'm watching the thing in the shop. Another Bennett. Purple again. I don't know Another razor. Another spear. Another Chi Chi. Not complaining. Now we get two more after this. Oh. Oh. Last one, come on. Oh, the hole. Let's check my shop. If you lie on the Ooh, ten, I can get another roll. Come on. Oh, purple. Hmm, too bad. Oh, let's go to Nahida. Oh, and Chi Chi. Chichi will be completed. In terms of constellation, that is. 
Right now, heat up. And I have enough to get center. And that gets me a point into fate. to get joy. To ascend to one. Does this mean you're investing in me? <laughs> I always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. Huh? And that makes sense. We can do a normal thing. Fate. Roll. Wanderlust and vocation. No, oh, not much. Enough for another thing. Hmm. If I continue playing again tomorrow, well, later in today, I wonder if I'll have enough time to farm enough primos to get her we can do another 10 roll. We'll see you, I guess. Uh. Oh, well got some humans anyway. Uh. Just five. Better than nothing. Oh wait. Uh. I can actually check. Uh, uh, uh City. I think I can unlock the reputation system for Sumeru. Okay, jump off this cliff. Down below. <laughs> Almost on the guy's head. Requests. One. Oh, 50 off. Hmm. Well, hmm, how much is the a wish I get one sixty? So two. 320, so that's... I have five? In total, technically? Five. Oh, well. Oh, well. So nice to oh, oh, well. Uh, that'll be all for today. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking in, and whoever may see this, have a good whenever. So long. Farewell.